when we started no-tilling, we certainly needed different equipment. We needed the kind of planters that had a lot of down pressure to get the seed in the soil. You know, we were dealing with a pretty hard soil at that time. And when we first started no-tilling, we were dealing with a lot of residue. And we worked through all this, and, and as we no-tilled longer, and as the microbes in the soil started working better, we saw that residue become less of a problem. And we're switching to, to different things like using rye as a cover crop in the fall and then coming in and planting into that standing rye. And, and it's not the equipment. It's the way the soil is growing and, and reacting. And we've turned the soil into a lot softer medium than it used to be. It used to be we needed all this down pressure to get the seed in the ground. And now it's not really a factor hardly at all. Uh, we've created a, a soil with the aggregate stability that softened it up and we can get really good seed placement without a tremendous amount of down pressure. So the equipment is important, but at a certain point, then the more important part becomes how are you managing the soil? How are you changing it and creating the structure that's conducive to the plants to grow? Livestock integration is one way to, to ease out the financial risk. So if I'm going to dedicate some acres to a cover crop, if I've got some livestock or my neighbor has some livestock that we can bring in there and generate some revenue off of it from grazing it, that helps offset the risk of just planting it from a soil health standpoint. Yeah.